What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One Eye Bri back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 8, do a discussion about the first and second half Season 8, mainly the second half, because we're going to talk about things we want to have answered. And I know there's a lot of people asking questions about the second half of Season 8. We'll talk about it a little bit as much as we know, what we hypothesize, what we want to see. But more importantly, spoiler warning is if you don't want to know anything about the second half of season eight and you're not up to date this season eight stop watching now but for those who want to know here we go guys but first if you can hit that subscribe button it helps achieve our goal of 100 000 subscribers we post videos every day about the walking dead and other content so stay in the know by subscribing and being a part of our channel hope you do let's talk about it guys so the second half of season eight doesn't come back to february 25th and People are excited and disappointed at the same time. So the last time we saw everybody, they were in the sewers and we had some big news about it. We'll talk about that in a second. But the grave, I want to know whose grave this is. I think it's Carl's, but could it be somebody else? Obviously, it's not Michonne's or Rick's, but it just makes sense that it would be Carl's. So the episode 809 comes back February 25th, and it's going to highlight Carl is what Gimple and a lot of people said about it so i think it's carl's grave i believe that's carl's gun with the silencer on it the hat might stay on the grave does the hat go to judith or what happens with the sheriff hat but it's going to pick up probably where it left off episode 809 is going to be about carl again and the final goodbye of carl grimes on the show we might get flashbacks of the character or whatever but ultimately carl grimes is not going to be on the show anymore chandler riggs and stuff has been going around for that but bites play out like they do on the show is what gimple said he has a walker bite, so we'll see what's answered, why it happened, what's the future of the show without Carl going forward. Jerry. What's up with Jerry? Is he captured still? Because last time we saw him, he was like this. Simon shot Neil. Jerry was still alive. But did they let him go back with Hilltop? What happened with it? Is he still prisoner? I don't know that answer. I don't know what happened. We didn't see it. So hopefully Jerry sticks around for a long time. I hope he does. Dwight. Is he going to make it? Is he going to help the survivors more? Does he flip-flop back around? Does he go to Negan? What happens here? But in the sneak peek that we saw of episode 809, Dwight is talking to Rosita and Michonne about, we got to get up there. They're waiting to get out. He has a plan. I think he's working with the group still. And I think he sticks around. I don't think he's going to go back to Negan. I think he's team Rick now. And that's obvious. Laura what going to happen with that? Is Laura going to survive? Is she not? Is Dwight going to kill her? Because in the trailer, we see Dwight go back to the sanctuary. Is he saving face? Does Laura go on Rick's side now with Dwight? I don't know. It's a very interesting thing going down. But we see him obviously there right back at the sanctuary. Negan is addressing the group and what to do after the battle. He went back to the sanctuary. The walkers or some display here is going down. I can't wait to find out what's going down with it, guys. I'm excited. What do you think? What do you make of it? What do you make of all the stuff we're talking about? Post your comments below. As always, guys, I'm interested to know your thoughts. Let's talk about Oceanside a little bit. Are they going to come back to Rick's side? I don't know how you could right away, if at all, after Enid took out Natanya, you know, Cindy's grandmother. We want Oceanside back on Rick's side, but this doesn't help them by any means. And I'm sure Enid didn't mean to do it, but it happened. So we'll see what's up with that relationship going forward and the future of Enid and Aaron. Gregory, is he going to stick around? I think he makes it out of season eight, but if you know the comics, you know, hopefully he gets his comic what's coming to him in season nine. But Gregory's going to flip flop around. Maggie, I like Maggie's thing with the box, putting that savior that she shot in the box and saying, put it somewhere they notice it. And what's up with these two? I kind of like Dylan, the guy on the left. I don't know how you could like Jared. There's no way you would like that guy by any means. Dylan, does he flip flop? Does he switch? Does he become part of Maggie's group at Hilltop? And Jared, you need to go bye bye. And I hope it's satisfying, but I don't know if it can because this guy is still around and it's just so annoying. Maggie is what's going to happen with that because how did Maggie get away? Why did Simon just let her go back to the hilltop when they were supposed to capture her and bring her back to the sanctuary? So what happens with that? Alexandria is torn apart. Alexandria is going to be gone and they have to rebuild it at some point. But I would assume Rick and the gang and the group and everybody goes to the hilltop now and they use that as their base. And when will they rebuild Alexandria? 
Father Gabriel. Is he going to make it or not? Did they already make it back to the hilltop with the doctor? They were leaving there, but we didn't see if they actually left yet. Will they get stopped? Will it be a problem? We'll see how it goes down. Is Eugene finally coming back around? I hope so. Daryl and Rick. What's up with that relationship? Last time they saw each other, they were fighting it out, and then they went separate ways. But you can see here in the trailer for the second half of season eight that he's Rick's probably holding Judith, and Daryl's got to be there for him. I mean, Daryl's his brother, and eventually they got to be working together, I would assume, right? What, so where are they going here? In the trailer, you see Rick's coat on, so it's probably towards the end of the season when it's got colder in Georgia. They film you know, all the way to November. But when that jacket comes around, they're ready to take people out. And what does Rick have to fight for? People are asking a lot. He's still got family. He's still got his group. He's still got to take down Negan and the Saviors. It ain't over yet. Just because Carl's going to go away doesn't mean Rick stops right now. Eventually, they're going to keep going onward, right? Ezekiel. What's going to happen with him? The last time we saw him, he was surrounded by Gavin and Saviors. I would assume that he makes it and he gets his comic book storyline with the whispers and everything in the season nine, most likely. But Gavin and Ezekiel... I don't know if this is Gavin or if that's Rick or what that is. It looks like Gavin's hair when there's an explosion by that. So I don't know if Gavin's letting him go. Gavin kind of switches sides. I would like to see that. Morgan was outside listening to the whole conversation. Does Morgan and Carol come save Ezekiel? What happens here? I don't know. Morgan is alive. Clearly, Carol is alive in the trailer too. But someone's got to help Ezekiel, right? Is Morgan having a plan to take out the saviors and Gavin survives or he doesn't? Does Carol help Ezekiel as well? Or does Morgan and Carol both do it? These are the questions I have that I'm excited to have answered, guys. I think the second half of season eight can still be very good, even with the Carl death looming. But I think it'll be great. I think season eight is pretty good. How about you guys? Simon and Negan, where are they going? They're clearly back at the sanctuary. I think it's Simon going to the scavengers to do that. What's the fate of the scavengers? We'll talk about a little bit more in a second, but where is Simon going here? He looks pissed. Simon's connected with the hilltop, so he's either going there. Maybe Simon's having a problem with Negan. How, why did Simon just let Maggie go? I won't understand that. Where are all these guns going? They're clearly going to take somebody out. Is it the kingdom? Is it the scavengers? Or is it hilltop? Is Simon rallying the troops and the saviors to go attack the hilltop now? Because that's really the main asset. The kingdom and the hilltop are left and Alexandria has fallen. The scavengers, what do you make of it, guys? What's going to happen with them? The rumors are going around that Jadis lives, but the scavengers do not. The rest of them, Tamiel, Brion, the rest of the weird scavengers. So we should have that resolved. The scavengers should be no more. Negan, what's going to happen with Negan is a big question. Is he going to get killed, captured? I mean, he's got to get at least wounded, right, or beat up. That's pretty ridiculous if he is unscathed the entire war. That's pretty crap. I mean, they had a fight scene, but it wasn't really... He got beat up a little bit, I mean, but I'd say Negan won that battle for sure against Rick, but we'll see what happens that. Judith, is Judith the future Carl of that? Is there going to be a time jump in this part of the season or season nine? Is she going to be older? The Carl pass by scene in episode 801, will it be answered? Is it a dream sequence? Is I have another theory about it. Is Rick dead and just seeing this? Is because Carl's dead. That doesn't make sense. The red eye Rick. Why is Rick crying still? We still don't know. Mercy prevails over my wrath, he says. Is the war over and he's relieved? Does he kill Negan? Does he not? Does he just spare Negan's life because that's the big thing is mercy show mercy live together be together I think Negan's going to get captured I can't wait to have it answered all that war is just going to be season eight does not go into season nine so we'll see probably in the finale so it should be good guys hopefully it's satisfying either way what Rick decides post your comments below what you want to have answered if we missed anything and as always guys give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram at the PT channel we post stuff there all the time funny pics videos content on Facebook, the Walking Dead community Facebook page and a group, the PT channel page. We post stuff there too. Follow us on social media. Walking Dead mystery boxes, 38 bucks free shipping. We get new stuff in all the time. We're going to do supernatural boxes, horror boxes, you know, Marvel boxes, a lot of, a lot of cool stuff going there. $38 right now, free shipping in the continental US. Gets you six to seven items and some bonus items. You won't be disappointed. Fight for us, my book series is going strong. Four books available now, amazon.com, barnesandnoble.com, Kindle versions. And basically it's about four friends. I'm Ryan with the katana in the middle there, but you have Sean, Matt, and Phil along with the many more characters on there too. And it's loosely based about my life, my friends, and what would have possibly happen in a zombie apocalypse, some good stuff. 
stuff. If you like The Walking Dead, Zombieland, funny drama, horror, great stuff there with zombies, you'll like the books. Hopefully you pick up a copy today, and thank you for watching.